total, complete waste of your money. Let's talk about what most people don't know about hyaluronic acid. This is a naked mole rat. What does a naked mole rat have to do with hyaluronic acid? Naked mole rats are about the size of a mouse, but they live 10 times longer. That's up to 32 years. Not only do they live 10 times longer, they don't get sick as they age. They don't develop age-related diseases like heart disease, atherosclerosis, or changes in the brain like Alzheimer's disease. And they never develop cancer. As scientists have studied naked mole rats, they found that aside from their lack of modesty and carefree, clothing-free approach to life, they have very high amounts of something called hyaluronin, or hyaluronic acid. Here's a Sharpe dog. Some people think they're ugly and some people think they're super cute. What do you think? Do you know what Sharpe dogs have in common with naked mole rats other than they're not wearing any clothes? Well, they also have very high amounts of hyaluronin or hyaluronic acid. Do you know what else they have in common? They have a significantly lower risk of numerous forms of cancer. It's believed that the high amounts of hyaluronic acid in their skin is somehow protecting them from cancer. Aging research scientist Dr. Vera Gorbanova said, I believe that real discoveries lie in looking into long-lived species in the wild. There are so many of them, and there is so much to be found. So I'm very optimistic about human life, that we can live so much longer and healthier. Now, if naked mole rats live long, don't get cancer or other age-related diseases, and Sharpe dogs don't get cancer, and both of these because of high amounts of hyaluronic acid, the question is, could that also be true for humans? How can we benefit from hyaluronic acid? We actually have hyaluronic acid in all of the connective tissues in our bodies, just not nearly as much as naked mole rats. As we get older, the amount of hyaluronic acid in our bodies decreases. And by the time we're about 75, we only have about 25% of what we had when we were 19 or 20. So how can we increase our amounts of hyaluronic acid, especially as we age? Most people know about putting hyaluronic acid on topically, especially women, and it's found in many beauty products for the skin, like serums, masks, creams, moisturizers, and cleansers. What most people don't know is that there are very credible studies suggesting that topical hyaluronic acid is not very effective. Please don't shoot the messenger. There was a large, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial published in 2020 that found no statistically significant improvements from applying hyaluronic acid in a serum or cream. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use topical skin creams. In that same study, they did see improvements in skin aging, which they attributed to the moisturizing component of those creams and serums, but not from the hyaluronic acid. So what about taking hyaluronic acid in supplement form? The good news is that multiple randomized placebo-controlled human studies, the gold standard of scientific studies in humans, not animals, show benefits in skin health and wrinkle reduction from supplementing with hyaluronic acid. Now, some argue that hyaluronic acid supplements are not absorbed and therefore ineffective and a total, complete waste of your money. And that's a valid concern. The good thing is we also have multiple animal and not just animal, but human studies showing that hyaluronic acid supplements are in fact absorbed. And on that same note, you may have seen many collagen supplements now including hyaluronic acid. That's certainly on the right track, but the issue is they don't include enough hyaluronic acid in each serving. For example, Vital Proteins is a very popular collagen brand. It's one of my favorites. I've been taking it mostly over the last, every day over the last two years. And some versions of their collagen products contain hyaluronic acid, but their largest serving size only contains about 90 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. So I personally take both collagen and hyaluronic acid supplements separately. So I have more control over the amounts that I'm getting and I need all the help that I can get. Now we'll talk more about that when we talk about how much to take. Most people know about the benefits of hyaluronic acid for skin and wrinkle reduction and that's why it's so popular. But most people don't know that hyaluronic acid has also been shown to protect against a number of respiratory diseases, assist with weight loss, be beneficial for the brain and ease in incontinence and bladder pain, treat wounds, and assist in healing. That's awesome. But does it make you look better naked? Yeah. <laughs> 
So we have studies showing that hyaluronic acid supplements are effective, but are they safe? One study showed potential side effects can include gastric discomfort, such as reflux or loss of appetite. Of course, you know, loss of appetite could be a good thing if you're trying to lose weight. The bigger concern floating around out there in social media land is if hyaluronic acid supplements can contribute to cancer growth. This concern is based on a study that took a look at cells that were genetically altered to have cancer. When hyaluronic acid was added, cancer growth accelerated. But the thing we have to keep in mind is that this was only a single cell study. Other studies done in mice, this distinction is very important because they mouse is a multi-celled, complex, living creature, not just a genetically altered cell in a petri dish. And these mice already had cancer, but they showed no evidence of accelerating cancer growth when hyaluronic acid was added to their diet. So this information certainly supports the safety of hyaluronic acid supplements. So if you decide to try hyaluronic acid, how much should you take? Current studies suggest 200 milligrams per day, and some people take up to 400 milligrams daily. If you're 30 years old or young, Younger, you probably don't need to start taking hyaluronic acid supplements yet. But as you get older, it will become more important as your own hyaluronic acid levels begin to decline. And because hyaluronic acid levels decline as we age, the older you are, you'll likely notice more benefits from taking a hyaluronic acid supplement. So I get pure high molecular weight hyaluronic acid from Do Not Age, and I'm currently taking 200 milligrams per day in the morning on an empty stomach. Now, as mentioned earlier, hyaluronic acid and collagen are often discussed together as both can help with skin health. So if you wanna learn more about collagen, you may wanna check out this video right over here.